populating the poll, the Photos tab. Once you get into the poll, go to the fourth of the five tabs. Again, you can minimize that imagery view to give yourself some more room. And you'll notice there's several rows here of photo options. At the top, we have our four directional views, followed by six power views, then four calm communication views, detail views, and below that are our tag and branding section with many different options. Uh, our anchor views, some polls have many anchors, followed finally by our miscellaneous. Well, now when you take photos, I'm not actually in the field, so I have to take them from my camera roll. You just hit the camera icon. In my case, I'm going to populate these uh, by hitting the folder uh, icon and accessing my, my camera roll. So we'll get a directional shot here. And then we'll go for, say, a power shot. Tag shot, let's start with a switch tag. Add a stamp and say a main tag. And then maybe get an anchor tag, anchor detail. Now once you go into that shot, if you wanna look at it for any reason, you can go in and pinch and zoom and you can either delete it you take it uh, or replace it or you can be done. You can also change, let's say you took that directional shot and you realized that, oh, I was standing on the wrong side of the pole. That's actually a south shot, not a north shot. You can change your tag to any of the um, values there. With the ID and branding, so there's lots of values, including ones for push poles, otherwise known as brace poles, or your stub pole if you're doing a pole that is in the middle of a pole transfer and you want to get some photos of the old pole identification. Uh, and you'll notice at the bottom that the um, badge value is in a red circle instead of a green circle. The green circle indicates that you have met all of the conditions for that tab and it passes. Well. If let's just go out of the poll here, let's go to the settings, hit QC enforcement and scroll to the bottom. You'll see a section for photos and you'll see all the conditions that need to be met in order to pass. You'll see directional photos you re is required to have two photos. You can set that to whatever you want. I always get at least three for directional, but um, I have a minimum requirement of two. Same with your calm and your power. Um, shots here it's set to one now that won't apply if you've already selected at the beginning in your beginning tab your identification tab if you've indicated that you're doing a calm only pull then you won't need to get a power shot or vice versa if it's a power only pull you won't need to get a calm shot so I have one at least one ID shot and if there is an anchor then I have at least one anchor shot I require and a total shots of four. That's what I have been set to, but you can set it to whatever you want. And again, as I mentioned in the first video for poll population, when you take shots for the identification section, the corresponding labels in the ID section go yellow. See the owner tag, switch tag, and the classification. And that helps for population you can pinch and zoom, and it's right in front of you as you go to populate that poll. Very handy. Now let's go back and let's try and satisfy the conditions to make our photos tab go green. What we're missing looks like one calm, calm shot and one extra directional shot. Since this is indicated to be a joint use poll, we need the calm shot. So let's grab that. And let's grab a directional. 
I only have one, I think, here, so I'll just get a repeat of it just to for the demonstration. And you notice that our photo's badge value, the color is green, so we have satisfied it, and it says eight because there are eight shots for this poll. And that's about it for our Photos tab. Thanks for your attention.